Okay, hello everybody. I'm back once again. God still speaks through visions and dreams. Yes, he does. Uh, the other day, there were some questions came up, I noticed on Facebook. Questions pertaining to hell and the types of punishments and degrees that uh, uh, was born. A question was asked about the degrees and the types of punishment pertaining to hell. This is a subject I don't even like to think about, let alone talk about. But after I saw the questions on uh, Facebook, uh, it was just really impressed on me to go to the Word and um, dig up some scriptures pertaining to hell because there's just a lot of confusion about the about, on this subject and 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 um, actually a lot of Bible subjects. I mean, I don't know why is it why is why is it that there's just so much, much confusion um, when it comes to the Word of God. One reason I found out is that some of us can just be too dogmatic about our opinion, our beliefs. And, I, you know, I realized one day that my point of view could be right, but the other person's point of view could be right as well. Just because mine is right doesn't make him wrong. It's he just have another uh, perspective or, you know, seeing things from a different angle. You know, it's like um, it's like five or six people standing around a, a mountain. And we're all looking at this mountain, but we all got, I got a view of this side. That person got a view of that side. That person got a view of the back side. And we all see something different. But it's all the, the same mountain. Okay, and so I might come back and say, no, I saw this. And somebody else might say, well, this is what I believe and this is what I saw and this is how I see it. Okay, but it's all right. We're all right. Okay, and that's a lot of times that's the way the word is. You know, God doesn't give it all to me. He doesn't give it all to you. Okay, he give all of us a little bit. And we should come together with the puzzle and see the bigger picture. Okay. Um, so God, I don't think he's shown any of us anything in his totality. He don't show anybody anything in his totality. If he did, you wouldn't be able to live here anymore. Okay. He just gives everybody a little bit. He gave Ezekiel a little bit. He gave Isaiah a little bit. He gave, uh, Paul and John a little bit. Okay. And so, we come up with the Word of God, the Bible. We came up with the Word of God. So, okay. <clears throat> so, but I'm going to try to give you some scriptures on hell. Okay, the question came up, are there different degrees of punishment in hell? Absolutely. Yes, it is. Okay, and I'm going to give you some scriptures on that. Just like there's different degrees of rewards in heaven. Okay. Uh, now, I'm just going to start here by saying that what hell is not. Okay, people believe, there are some people believing that we create our own hell and this is all the hell we're going to get. This is what we're getting right now. That is just not true. Okay, that is just not true. And uh, we know that Hell is after you die. It's not something that you that you experience. I mean, you can you can experience uh, problems. Uh, you can be attacked, spiritually attacked by the forces of hell um, while you're living in this world. But this world is not hell. Matter of fact, this world is a glorious paradise compared to hell okay if you go to Luke 16 23 uh, it talks you it tells you that uh, it talks about a rich man that died and it says Luke 16 22 it says the rich man also died and was buried 
And it says in Hades or in hell, where he was tormented, he looked up and saw Abraham far away, far away with Lazarus inside. Okay, so this, this tells you that hell is after you die. This Don't let people tell you this stuff about you, you creating your own hell right now. Okay, that's just not true. Hell is after you die. Okay? Um, we know that when Jesus Christ, after he died, the Bible said he went down into hell. Okay. Now, where is hell? Okay, where is hell? It is beneath the earth. Okay, that's where hell is. Uh, that's where we get, and we we get this word. Okay, there are at least four Greek words. Uh, well, two Greek words and two Hebrew words I found that that means hell. And that is Sheol, which is a Hebrew word, Hades, which is a Hebrew word, and it could be a Greek word, I believe, but I believe it's, I believe it's a, a Hebrew word. Gehenna, Gehenna, which is a um, Greek word, and Tartarus, which is also a Greek word. All these words mean hell. It's translated hell into our language, hell. Okay, now I'm by no means am I a Greek scholar or anything like that, but I'll just go to the Concordance and read, what, read what's in the Concordance. Okay? So, a lot of times the concordance will break a word down so you understand what it's talking about. And in some places where it talks about hell, it's talking about Sheol, okay, the grave, or where people are buried, and where the dead abode abides, okay? And Hades is a place where the wicked spirits where wicked spirits are kept. All right? Now, the question came up, um, were there different degrees of punishment in hell? Yeah, there, there are different degrees of punishment in hell. Okay? There are different compartments in hell. Compartments. Go to Matthew 24, 51. Okay? Matthew 24, 51. Matthew 24, 51 said he will cut when Jesus Christ return and find that servant not being obedient to uh, the orders that were get that that was given him. He said he will come and cut him asunder and assign him and assign him a place with the hypocrites. Okay, the hypocrites have their compartment. Okay. So this man is going to be assigned with the hypocrites in a particular compartment, okay? Uh, the liars will have their place or their part, their location. The adulterers will have their location, okay? So, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be different types of punishment depending on the, the sin, all right? Because, I mean, we do that here, okay? depending on the sin or the crime, to determine the type of punishment. So Matthew 24, 51 tells us, lets us know there are different compartments. There are places, there are particular places, there's a certain place for the hypocrites, there's a certain place for the liars, there's a certain place in, in hell for uh, whatever sin you committed. Okay? Are there different degrees of punishment? Absolutely. Go to uh, Luke 12, 47, 48. Luke 12, 47 says, 
and the slave who knew. It says, okay, hold on just a second here. The slave who knew to do his master's will and did not do it will be beaten with many stripes. But the one who did not know but still committed sins worthy of punishment will, will be beaten with fewer stripes. Okay? That's letting you know there that there's degrees of punishment. Okay? There are degrees of punishment. Some is going to be punished more severely than others. Where did I say that was at? Luke 12, 47 and 48. Also, um, let's see, it was another scripture I had. Oh, if you go to James 3 and 1, uh, James admonishes us not to be teachers because teachers are going to be judged more strictly than others. So their, their punishment is going to be probably more harsh than others because a teacher knows. Matthew 23 and 14, uh, let me see. It says, Matthew 24, 13. But the one who, no, that's not, the, that's not it. That's not it. Okay, I'm sorry, it's Matthew 23, 14. It says, this is what it says, y'all. There are going to be different degrees of punishment. I just gave you one scripture. It says, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses. And for a pretense, make long prayers. Therefore, you will receive a greater condemnation. A greater condemnation. If there's a greater, there's a lesser. Right? So whoever told you that uh, everybody's going to be punished the same in hell? No, it's not. But who wants to get the least of punishment in hell? Okay, so I'm not saying this to say, you know, to give you a reason to go there. But it's, 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 I guess, just knowing what the word says is, is uh, good within itself. Just having an understanding of the word. But uh, there will be different degrees, different compartments uh, in hell. There's all, there are pits in hell. Okay, I'm not going to read all these scriptures, but I'm going to give you the scriptures, okay? Uh, there are pits. I know people, some people don't understand. Yeah, there are pits. They actually have pits in hell. You know, a lot of this stuff came to me by revelation, too, in the night when I dream. I would see a lot of this stuff. And sometimes I would see it just when I'm I'm about just I'm just walking about during the day. And I didn't understand a lot of what I was seeing. So I had to go to the word and find this stuff. So if you hear somebody talking about they saw pits in hell, yeah, there's pits in hell. There are pits. And uh, they are made for people. Okay, they are made for people. Did you find that in Job 33, 28? There, there, you find that in uh, yeah, Job 32, 28. There are bars in hell or cells, like jail cells. Okay? They are there. Find that in Jonah 2 and 6, Psalms 116 and 3. Job 17, 16. Um, hell consists of a lot of different things, y'all. It's not just it's not just a person going there and just being in the fire. There are many different types of torments, uh, punishments, depending on your crime, depending on your sin. Uh, the furnaces of fire. That Jesus talked about the furnaces of fire. Matthew 13 and 30. God allowed me to see the furnaces of fire on three different occasions. He showed me the furnaces of fire. Let me back up a little bit first here. You know, there's a scripture in, in, in uh, Revelation, the Revelation 20, 13 and 4. It says that hell, the sea and death, hell, death and the sea gave up the dead. 
okay? Hell, death, and sea, the sea gave up the dead when, when the, at the white throne judgment. At the white throne judgment, I believe the Father appears, and the Father is just so powerful. Nothing natural can stand within his sight, okay? Even the earth disintegrates. The Bible said heaven and earth, it will pass away. Heaven and earth, it will pass away. It's going to pass away. Heaven is going to dissolve. That This physical heaven, that physical universe, when God come on the scene, it's going to dissolve. The earth is going to dissolve. The earth is going to disintegrate right under our feet. Okay? And hell is going to be exposed, open, out in the open, with all of its occupants, or with all of its cellmates, as as uh, the Concordians called it. The Concordians called them cellmates or inmates in their cells, and all of its accessories. Everything that's pertaining to hell, the chains, the spears, the swords, the demons that torment them with those weapons and all that stuff is going to be exposed. Okay, when God come on the scene, the earth, heaven and earth shall pass away. It's, it's going to disintegrate. And it's going to do that to make way, one reason to make way for the new heaven and the new earth. Okay, now this is what I want to bring out. It says that Hell, in, in Revelation 20, 13, and 14, hell gave up the dead. Now, we know where hell is. Hell is beneath the earth. The dead resides in hell. But that's not the only place the dead resides. Okay? That's not the only place hell resides. It says the sea also gave up the dead. Okay, you hear people talking about they were taken beneath the sea, Aliens took them beneath the sea, their kingdoms beneath the sea, uh, their mermaids beneath the sea. You hear people talking, that's true, man. That's true. There, there are kingdoms underneath in, in the sea, in our oceans. Okay, here the Bible said that the sea gave up the dead. Okay, just like hell, as a, hell is a kingdom that possessed the souls of men. It's going to give up the dead when at the white throne judgment. Well, the sea also have occupants, okay, or inmates, and it's going to give up the dead. Uh, it also says death. Death is going to give up the dead. Now, where is death? We know where hell is. It's beneath the earth. We know where the oceans and the seas are. It's on the, it's on the earth. The seas are on the earth. But where is death? Where is death? Death is anywhere. Death can be anywhere. This death is in this universe, throughout this universe. Okay. This is why when people say they saw a ghost. They probably did. But a lot of us church-minded people will say, oh, you didn't see no ghost. Everybody's either in heaven or in hell. That's not true. I've seen ghosts. I've seen ghosts lots of times. And they wasn't in hell. Okay? They wasn't in hell. I was working out at KU a few years back. Dozed off. And I woke up, I woke up in a vision. And guess what I saw? Ghosts. I saw ghosts. And these ghosts was in that hospital. And they were fighting each other. Okay? And I'm thinking, well, wait, dead people are supposed to be in heaven or hell. No, they were in death. Death can be anywhere. Okay? These ghosts were fighting each other. They had not been sentenced to their final abode yet. And I, I heard this woman talking about she saw these people in torment and fire in outer space. That's true, people. 
There are places in outer space. There are other planets that people, humans are taken to for judgment and punishment. There are other planets because death is there. Death, death is Satan, fallen angels. And once they capture a human, they take him wherever he want. Like David said, David was praying to God, Lord, do not let my enemies overcome me. Because if they do, they will drag me off like a lion. And they will do whatever they want to do with me. Once Satan get a soul, he does what he wants. He don't, you don't have to take him to hell if you don't want to. He can take him and make him a slave. He can take him and do whatever he want. Put him wherever he want. Okay? So this, there are people that are in debt. I've seen people on other planets. I've seen people on other planets. In torment. Okay? Uh, I've seen like hundreds of dead spirits just wandering the earth. They had not been sentenced yet. They were in death. Okay? They were in death. So when people say, yeah, man, I saw a ghost one time. They probably did. I saw a ghost in that graveyard. They probably did because they were in death. I saw these furnaces of fires on these other planets. Okay? Where they took humans. And Jesus Christ called them furnaces of fire. But today, in today's... In today's uh, language, we would call them incinerators. Okay? So anyway, hell is going to give up the dead. The sea is going to give up the dead. And death is going to give up the dead. And like I said, death can be anywhere. It doesn't have to be on earth. So people are taking many different places for judgment and punishment. Okay? Uh, now, getting back to what I was saying, there are... Places like the furnace, the, the furnace of fire, I saw people there, okay? And uh, on the day of judgment, they're going to come back here, though, to be judged. Because death is going to give them up. Uh, Matthew 22, 13 said the people are going to be cast into outer darkness. Outer darkness is not beneath the earth. It is outer this outer darkness, places in outer space that people are thrown and people are cast and people are tormented. I hate to talk about this stuff. I really do. And I hope I'm wrong. I hope, I hope, I hope we all misunderstanding this in the word. But there are people in outer darkness. Okay? It's not on earth. That's another place that we confuse, that we just... You know, we lump it all up and just call it all hell. Well, I guess you could. It's all just torment and dreadful. Okay, there are maggots in hell, worms, Matthew 9, 44, Isaiah 18, 34, Isaiah 14, 11. Uh, those worms are very tormenting. I saw God allow me to see one time these these men down there putting these worms inside of people's bodies. Okay? They were just putting these worms in sense for torment, just for the sheer pleasure of tormenting them. You know, Satan draws a lot of energy from tormenting people. He gets a lot of energy from that. A lot of joy. Okay? There are homes. Remember, death is everywhere. There are homes that people, those people have dead bodies, have the, have uh, not dead bodies, but have deceased people in there. And in their world, this is like having something of great entertainment to have a human in their home being tormented. It's like we having music and food and friends here in our world that makes us very happy. Well, in their world, humans... Uh, are tormented in their homes. Okay? Humans are also used for body parts. Okay? Now, if you watch some of my other videos, I've clearly explained that from Scripture. They actually take humans for their body parts. All right? 
So there are a lot of degrees, a lot of compartments, many different types of punishments. And I mean, once you've gone and you're outside of God and Satan has you, he does whatever he wants. Okay? I even saw one time, if I can remember, that... Satan used some people to go back to earth to do his bidding against their own family. He used a family member. A family member had died. And Satan sent him back to earth to uh, do the work of Satan on behalf of Satan uh, against that family. So what, what was he? He was a familiar spirit. He was a familiar spirit. Okay? God has allowed me to see people, believe me, there are all sorts of many torments after if you miss God. Okay? There's just so many. I, I, really, I really don't even want to go into a lot of detail about it. Because it's just so it's so horrible. But anyway, as I said, there are maggots there. There are all top types. So these these worms are they sting also. They are very painful. The rotten and stench and rotten bodies go on forever. Okay, rotten stench bodies, uh, decayed bodies. Go to Acts thirteen thirty five, Psalm sixteen, uh, ten. Okay. Corrupt bodies, decayed bodies. There are tormentors in hell. People, you hear people say there are no tormentors in hell. There are no demons tormenting people in hell. These people just have not been studying the word. Okay? Matthew 18, 34. There are tormentors. Demons torment people in hell. Remember the Bible said hell was created for the devil and his angels. That's who that's who hell was created for, them. They are down there. Okay? Some, some of them are down there. And they're down there creating human, uh, torturing humans. There are gates. Of course, there are gates in hell. You heard of the gates of hell. Matthew 16, or the headquarters of hell. Hell is an organized, organized place. There's organized chaos. Matthew 16, 18. There are people that are chained up in hell. They're chained. They are burning and chained up. They can't move. I hate, I hate talking about this. I really do. But you know what? I know God had me to talk about this. I know he did. I know he did. I mean, it was like I was just running, just trying to get this together. And this is my least favorite subject. But there are people that are chained up. Go to Jude 1 6, 2 Peter 2 4. Even the angels are chained up. They're chained. Okay? And they're tormented. In darkness. It's dark down there. Okay? It's dark. Uh, I had that. I had that scripture. I forgot what I did with that. But it's dark down there. Oh, cast into outer darkness. Matthew 12, Matthew 22, 13. Uh, also, there are, there are fallen angels down there that are being tormented. They've been sentenced down there. Okay, go to Matthew 24. No, Matthew 24. Matthew 25 and 4 says that... Uh, hell was created for the devil and his angels, I believe. Let me make sure here. Yeah, that's right. It's Matthew 25, 41. Hell was created for the devil and his angels. Okay? So they're down there. People tell you, no, the devil is not down there. Demons are not down there. It's just people. Okay? Um... Uh, Okay. All right. Now, um, now there's a difference 
Okay, there's a difference in the lake of fire. Okay, let me see how I can explain this. Someone was asking, the lake of fire is not going to occur until after the millennial reign. That's when people are going to be thrown into the lake of fire. Okay, that's when everybody, people that's in hell, people that are in the sea, the people that are in death from everywhere, from throughout this universe, that are not saved according to the word of God. Okay? They will be thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is not in existence right now, as far as I know. I don't think it's going to come about until after the millennial reign. Okay? Revelation 20, at the great white throne judgment. But now there are lakes of fire. Now, let me back up. God allowed me to see or get a glimpse of this lake of fire. It's not like the lakes of fires that are beneath the earth in hell right now. Okay, in, in Matthew 5, 22, it talks about hell fire, okay? It's called Gehenna. That's not the same thing as the lake of fire. It's called Gehenna, a Greek word called Gehenna. There are lakes of fires, pools of fire, rivers of fire beneath the earth. Okay, scientists tell you that. Okay, scientists know that. Okay, there are lakes, rivers, pools of fire uh, beneath the earth. And it's called, according to the Bible, it's called Gehenna. All right, but the lake of fire is not going to come about until after the millennial reign. All right, now people are thrown in the these lakes and rivers of fire uh, in hell now today you know people that I believe people that are not according to what the Lord was saying that you know he he said the rich man lifted up his eyes in hell being in torment in, in flames okay and the Lord also told us that if I hand up in these Cut it off is better to enter into the kingdom of God than to enter into uh, hell with with all your body parts. Okay, where well, the fire is not quenched, where well, the fire is not quenched. Okay, and the worm dieth not. Okay, so there is fire beneath the earth in hell, but everybody is not in that fire. I know people teach that, but it's not. Some people not in that fire. Remember, there are different types of punishments. Okay? Some people are locked up in cages. Uh, some people are just being beaten. Uh, it's just many different types of punishments. Okay? Um, but the Gehenna, or lakes of fires, rivers of fires, that exists right now. It's called Gehenna. But in Revelation 20, 13, and 4, the uh, lake of fire will be on the scene at the end of the millennial reign. And God allowed me to see or get some, a little glimpse of this lake of fire. And what I saw was, you know, I believe... The Lord allowed me to see he dipped his hand into that lake of fire. And that fire and that brimstone, it was so hot. It didn't bother him. But that brimstone was so hot, it was clear as water. Okay, you ever seen fire? You know, fire changes. The hotter that fire is, the brighter the color of the fire. You know, it go from... It'll go from green to blue, maybe even purple. It'll go to uh, blue, yellow. It'll go to uh, red, red, then yellow. 
Then I go to um, orange, or maybe maybe red, orange, then yellow. You know, silver, white. But this this fire was so hot it had passed all those colorful stages. It was as clear as water. Now I looked up, I looked up these this word lake of fire and it has something to do with lightning it has something to do with lightning what I don't know I haven't put that together yet but this lake of fire is not like the lakes and rivers of fire beneath the earth right now see all that that's beneath the earth right now is going to be thrown into the lake of fire okay the rivers the lakes the pools of fire that's down in there, all that's going to be thrown into the lake of fire. Okay? So it's not the same. It's not the same. So right now, yeah, there are different degrees of punishments in hell. There are different levels. There are different compartments. Okay? Uh, there are different... Uh, uh, yeah, degrees of punishment, as I said, as I gave you the scripture on those earlier. Okay, so uh, I hope this helped you some. I hope this helped you some. Oh, I didn't talk about Tartarus. Yeah, there's a compartment in hell called Tartarus. See, there are different different levels of hell. Tartarus is the lower level, the lowest level of hell. It's the lowest level. There are different levels, okay? And Tartarus is the lowest. They find that in 2 Peter 2 and 4. And it says the fallen angels are put there, okay? But I don't believe just they are there. I believe humans are there too. Because like I said, once Satan gets you, he do what he want to do. That's his kingdom. That's his kingdom, okay? So... Um, I hope this helped you some. I hope this helped you on the subject of hell. I was listening to Facebook the other day, and and someone asked a question, brought up the subject of hell, and I was really surprised at the answers that people was giving. You know, because I mean, all you gotta do is Google a lot of this stuff, and you find that's all I did. And so, I mean, you know, I ain't saying I try to put myself over nobody or nothing like that, but I mean, I mean, come on, y'all, we got Google now. We got Google. There's a lot of things you can find out. I wouldn't know if I didn't have Google. But anyway, you know what I'm going to do? Another question came up. Another question came up um, about the degrees. Will there be degrees of, not only degrees of punishment, will there be degrees of rewards in heaven? Of course it will. We're not going to be all rewarded the same. There's a scripture that says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. I can't even quote it, but I know I know what I'm trying to say. So let me say it this way. There's a scripture that says that eyes and ears or the mind have not seen or conceived what God has for us. But he has revealed it to those who love him. Okay? So I have that scripture back for you next time when I come back. But he has revealed it to those who belong to him and who love him. And God have allowed me to see the rewards of some people. Everybody's not going to have the same rewards. Do you honestly think that the thief on the cross is going to be rewarded on the same level as Paul? Of course not. Okay? Some people have not suffered. Some people have not given their all to be saved or for the gospel. Some people have given their all for the gospel. Some people have not. They're not going to be rewarded the same. Okay? So I'm going I'm to talk about that on my next video, hopefully tomorrow. All right? All right. I hope this helped you guys. I just got out of the hospital. Just ended up falling off my truck. <laughs> oh, anyway. Glad God helped me and spared me. That was a pretty hard fall. But anyway, hey, I hope God, I pray that God bless you all. And I pray that this message 
to be a blessing to you to help you understand the subject of hell more, okay? And to help you uh, do whatever you need to do to stay away from it, okay? Uh, I don't care who get the least of punishment in hell. I don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> so, well, you ain't going to be punished as much as that guy. Well, I don't care. I don't want none of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. All right. God still speak through visions and dreams. May the Lord bless you all, all the days of your life.